Hey, kindergartners, it's Mrs. Seals back for our next science lab. So we've been talking about energy for the past couple, week, couple weeks, and now we are moving on. And for the next couple weeks, we will be talking about something called force and motion. So today we're going to start by talking about one type of force, which is called magnetism. So let's talk about magnets. Here, Target says I can explore interactions between magnets and various materials. So a magnet is an object that attracts or pulls mag magnetic materials towards it. Magnets can look different. Here are some different types of magnets that you may see at school or you may have seen at school. This one's called a wand magnet, and I have one right here that looks almost exactly like it. It's also green. This one's called a bar magnet, and this one's called a horseshoe magnet. So they all look different, but they all work in the same way, which is that they attract magnetic materials to them. So what types of materials are magnetic? Certain types of metal are magnetic, but not all metals are magnetic. Today we're going to see something that is made of metal, but it is not magnetic. The most common type of metal that is magnetic is called iron. There are also some other types called steel, nickel, and cobalt that are also magnetic. So what are some objects that are magnetic? A paper clip, a binder clip, a, um, screws, a bolt, and a nail. All of these things are magnetic. They are made out of certain types of metals that are attracted to a magnet. So that means they're magnetic and we'll see some, we'll see that in just a minute. What types of materials are non-magnetic? Plastic is not magnetic. Glass is not magnetic. Cotton or any type of fabric. Wood, rubber, and paper. All of these materials are non-magnetic. That means that they will not be attracted to a magnet. They will not be pulled towards a magnet. So um, I'm about to do an investigation to see what types of materials are magnetic and which types are not magnetic. And that's also what the in-person learners will be doing. If you have a magnet at your home, you could do this as well. You could see what things you can find at your home and you could sort them. You could make a pile of things that are magnetic and a pile of things that are not magnetic. After you sort them, if you would like to take a picture to send to me, that would be great. Um, a little safety thing, please make sure when you're using magnets that you keep electronics and credit cards away from magnets because magnets can actually destroy these objects. So things like cell phones, iPads, tablets, computers, laptops, TVs, credit cards, all of those things can actually um, be destroyed and not work anymore if a magnet gets too close to them, all right? So please be safe. Um, this is not required. This is something you can just do for fun if you want to, but I'd love to see what you find. So feel free to email me. Here's my email address. Um, for everyone else, we are going to continue with a little sort. So right here, I have a sorting mat. And I'll kind of hold up so you can see this side of my mat says magnetic, this side of my mat says non-magnetic. And right here I have a bowl of some different objects. We're not going to sort all of them, but we're going to sort some of them. We're going to test them out using my, excuse me, my wand magnet and see which ones are attracted to the magnet and which ones are not. So I'm going to start with this popsicle stick. Okay, and before I test it out, I'm going to make a guess about whether or not this is magnetic. And my guess is that this is not magnetic because popsicle sticks are made out of wood. And I saw in the PowerPoint that wood is a material that is not magnetic. All right, so I am going to hold my magnet close to it. And I notice that my magnet does not pick up my popsicle stick. My popsicle stick is not attracted to my magnet. So that means my popsicle stick is non-magnetic. So I'm going to put it on this side of my sorting mat. All right, let me get something else. 
I'm going to try, what about a nail? All right, now I know that a, na a nail is made out of metal and I'm trying to figure out if I think that a nail is made out of a type of metal that is magnetic. And I think it is. I think I saw a nail in Ms. Seal's PowerPoint. I think a metal a nail is magnetic, so I'm gonna try and pick it up with my magnet. <gasps> Would you look at that? My nail is attracted or pulled towards my magnet, so that means it is magnetic. I'm gonna put it on this side. Awesome. Let's see what else we have. What about a, ooh, here's a good one, a safety pin, like you would use on your clothes or something if, if they're ripped or have a hole in them. All right, so I'm gonna make my guess first. I think that this will be magnetic. I think it will stick to my magnet because it is made out of metal. And I think it might be made out of a similar material as this nail. So I think it will stick to my magnet. <gasps> Look at that, it is magnetic, it's stuck to my magnet. All right, let's do a couple more. Here I have a lid, like to a plastic bottle. So, um, and I know that this is also made of plastic. It's a very hard type of plastic. And I remember from the presentation that plastic is not magnetic, so I don't think it's going to stick to my magnet. Let's find out, are you ready? And nope, the lid does not stick to my magnet. It is not magnetic. All right, let's do a couple more. Now I have a, let's see what I wanna do. Ooh, I got a, I got a good one. Here I have a quarter. <gasps> mm. Ready to see if it's magnetic. I'm gonna make a guess first. And I think it is magnetic because it's made out of metal. So I think it will stick to my magnet. Are you ready to find out? <gasps> what? What do you mean? My quarter does not stick to my magnet. It's not magnetic. Guess what? Coins, all coins, pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters they are very special because they are made out of metal but they are not made out of a type of metal that is magnetic so that's important for you to remember and to help you remember that all metals are not magnetic i'm going to put it on this side of my sorting mat because it is not magnetic and let's do one more are you ready here i have a screw like you would use to put in your wall, to hang pictures, or to hang things on your wall, or maybe to build something. And I saw in Ms. Seal's PowerPoint that screws are magnetic, so I think it will stick to my magnet. And there we go. It does stick to my magnet, so I know that it is magnetic. I have some other objects here. Um, I'm not going to continue to sort them. The kids that are in class will continue to sort them. I, again, I would love to see what sorts of things you discover at home if you have a magnet. Um, show me, take a picture, what sorts of things stick to your magnet, which things do not. Please remember to be safe and to not destroy any electronics. So make sure you're keeping your magnets away from your cell phones laptops, credit cards, tablets, anything like that. All right. I hope that you had fun learning about magnets and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye guys.